Welcome to Amen. Another episode of Restoring Souls to Christ Radio Show. Amen. We're just so happy to be back here again on another another Wednesday evening. Amen. I know it was the blood. Come on. Ooh, I feel it. I know it was the blood. Hallelujah. That blood that saved me. The blood that changed me. Hallelujah. Something about that blood. My God. Yes, 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight we have a special guest, amen. The guest radio host tonight is none other than Minister Torian, amen, out of Norfolk, uh, uh, Newport News, Virginia. Amen. Amen. Newport News, Virginia. And we're just so excited. She's going to come up in just a few minutes. And we just hope that you are clapping your hands and stepping your feet. Oh, I know of the blood. Oh. The blood that heals. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, something about that blood. Uh, the blood that heals. Hallelujah. The blood that heals. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, come on. Yes, the blood that washed, the blood that washed, that blood that washed, yes, sir, washing the white snow, my God, yes, sir, oh, we cooking with grease in the studio tonight, yes, somebody ought to praise him, yes, sir, the spirit of the Lord is uh, in this house, yes, sir, yes, sir, all right, amen, hallelujah, we get ready for the word, glory to God, amen, let us, at this time, let us welcome, amen, tonight's special guest, the radio host for tonight, Minister Torian out of Newport News, Virginia. Let's give a hand. Amen. Let's give a hand. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your life, for giving us life and giving us strength and health. Father God, we just thank you for just honoring us on this evening and allowing us to be here among the land of the living. Father God, we give you glory and honor and praise for being a loving and fair and just God. We just thank you for your forgiveness, your healing power. Father God, we thank you for the teaching that's going to go forth on this evening. Father God, just give me strength as I go forth, Father God. And let the people that's on the airways receive the words that, that, that is being taught, Father God. Let them have clarity and understanding, Father God. Let their souls and their hearts be touched in Jesus' name. Let them not walk away the same way that they did when they came on the, on the, on the line. Father God, just give them strength each and every day from here on out, Father God, in Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I will be coming out several scriptures on the, giving you several scriptures on this evening. Um, but the first scripture I'm um, coming out of is Psalms 1 and 1. It's called, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. The topic subject heading is transformed and renewed, renew your mind. 
transform and renew your mind. What God is saying here in Psalms 1 and 1, he says he will not bless you if you listen to ungodly and worldly and secular advice. He said because then you have put yourself in a place of naturalness and not supernaturalness. And you're then vulnerable to whatever's going on in the world. For example, if the world goes up, you go up too. If the world go down, then you go down too. Because you are then walking in the counsel or the wisdom or the vice of the ungodly. Now, I can say this. This, this is what I'm going to say right here. I don't let the world advise me. I'm not moved by the trends I see in the world. I don't just follow the course of this world. Now, see how easy that was to say? But it's easier said than done. Okay. Let's go to Romans 12. And two, I'm going to read out the NIV version for clarity. It says, Romans 12 and 2, Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Basically, what this scripture is saying here, he said, be not conformed, means do not shape around. Conform means to shape. Do not shape of what's going on in the world. Don't make everything centered around the world. Be not conformed means, also means, it, it, it also means moving in formation and alignment to the world. That means if you conform into the world, it's like you're moving in formation and alignment to it. Now, see, just like I said before, if the world is going wild, you don't have to go with it, you know. Don't be conformed to being pale, compelled to go with them. If the, if, the, if the world is going under, you don't have to go under with it. It doesn't mean that you have to go with it. Be not conformed to this world. That's what it's saying. There are so many people in the church today who are fed by what's from the world. Because they really don't spend that time much time with the um, godly people. Okay, for example, their family members might, it, it, half of this family members are secular people. The co-workers they work around are secular people. Their neighbors that they stay next door to might be secular people. Um, their so-called friends might be secular people. But when they come to church on Sundays and the speaker speaking, he don't have but a few minutes to come up against all the hours that you have been bombarded with of all this information from all this secular stuff, which is whether they come from people, the news, the newspaper, or internet. Whether wherever it is coming from, these worldly things are coming from, <clears throat> the minister don't have but just a few minutes to come up against all of that. So be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Conform is to shape around, but transform is an inner thing. It's an inner thing. Such as uh, a caterpillar and a butterfly. 
okay, I'm using this analogy, and I'm going I'm to see, can I put it in terms where you can understand and get a, a good, good clarity in what I'm trying to say. A caterpillar, we as saints, we as uh, uh, sinners, we just like caterpillars. We have caterpillars. We're just like the caterpillar. We're on the ground, crawling around on the ground level. We as sinners, we are. Okay. Now, when they get to sinner, get tired of crawling around on the ground and, and, and while in his own filth and 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 they want to change in their life and they want to be on another level. They want to all of a sudden see Christ. That's when transformation comes into play. That's when that caterpillar, which is you, go into a cocoon. You go into a sacred place inside of a cocoon. And that's where all the transformation would take place. God would save your soul from all the sins uh, of the world and all the things that you have done and, and you have been forgiven and things begin to happen. All things are passed away. Everything be made new. You just become saved inside the cocoon. Now, inside that cocoon, eventually when your, your process, transformation process has taken place, then you got to come out of that cocoon. You come out as a beautiful butterfly. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You are God's dis, dis, <laughs> new creature in Christ. You have been designed to fly. You're no longer a caterpillar. you got all different types of designs and colors, and you can fly free. You feel so free. You feel so refreshed. You feel, feel so renewed coming out of that cocoon. Everything that you've been bombarded with and, and burdened down with, you're not burdened down and bombarded with no more because you've been set free. You can fly freely. You just that new creature in Christ. Amen. Amen. So therefore, in Colossians 3 and 2, it says, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. See? Now, once you don't come out of that cocoon and you don't turn into a butterfly, now you got to be careful. Now you got to be careful not to go back to the worldly things again. Can't set yourself your sights on worldly things. You got to set your sights on what's above and what's ahead of you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's like a metamorphosis that done took place in your life. Amen. Amen. Okay. I want to say this. When you come out of that when you when you don't turn into that butterfly, you have to be careful who then you associate with. You gotta be careful who you talk to, who you who you um walk with, um, how you walk and how you dress and and and, and the things that you listen to. And you, you just gotta be mindful, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. And the reason why you have to be careful is because of your mind. Once you get saved, the spirit is saved, but your mind is not. We are what we eat, so to speak. So, our mind, in order for our mind to be renewed, we have to be, it, we have to feed it. And we need to feed it with positive things and the word of God. And the word of God is a positive thing. So we need to feed it with the word of God. That's what we feed our mind with. That's how we renew our mind. We are what we read. Amen, amen. Because we, for a prime example, when a, when a child goes to school, it goes in, may go in as a student, come out as a doctor. Why? Because what they have fed their mind while they was in school. So a mind is a terrible thing to waste. 
So be careful what you feed your mind. Amen. Okay, we want to talk about um, we want to talk about being transformed a little bit about Christians being transformed. Now, being a, a, a transformed Christian does not mean um, and how you dress. And long dresses and, 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 and your church dances and stuff like that. Um, people come to church all the time. They, they may look good, they may smell good uh, and, 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 and whatever. But they come in the church and all these outward appearances and outward attributes that they have on and they, they pay an attention to how they dress on the outside. But what about the inside? What about the inside? Amen. I just can't understand. You got all this beautiful stuff on the outside, but what about the inside? What about the inside? I think about that. The inside is just like dried man's bones. They look because they look like saints, they talk like saints, but inside they're just dead. Why? Because they have not been transformed. They have not been transformed. They just, they still got a, 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 a caterpillar in on it. They doing the caterpillar thing. They doing the caterpillar thing. Amen? Amen. Okay. So, it's a trans, transforming, you got to renew your mind and, and it's, like I said, it's Transform means an internal thing. It starts on the inside. And it works. And what's on the inside, what starts on the inside will show on the outside. You have a new walk. You now have a new talk. You have a certain way to carry yourself. You have, you be conscious of how you're dressing. So, because it says, in other words, in Ephesians 4 and 23, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. You will have a whole new attitude in your mind when you once you become transformed and get your mind renewed. Once you, ooh, yes. Once you become saved and stop walking around, crawling around on the ground like a caterpillar, and you come become into a beautiful butterfly, and you've been, been refreshed, and you've been renewed, you've been restored, and the Lord done forgiven you, your burdens up. You no longer carry that burden on your shoulders, and, and you feel... Just refresh, like a and your your body has been revived and your soul has been revived and uplifted. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God! Yes, 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 yes. You have a whole new attitude, and it comes from the inside out. It starts on the inside and it comes from the inside out. No matter how whatever you put on the outside, that special glow is going to show. People just, you can be walking down the street and people see you and, 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 and they be turning around looking the light. They'll do a double look. Trying to say, okay, something different, something different about this woman. What is going on with this woman? Why she look like this? What's going on with that man? Why he's walking like this? Ah, oh, Jesus. It, it, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's absolutely amazing. You got to be careful. What you eat. Just like you got to take care of your body because your body is a temple. It's a temple. Then you got to be careful what you feed it. Just like your mind. You got to be careful what you feed it as well. Okay. First Peter 1 13 through 16. It said, Therefore, Prepare your minds for action. Be self-controlled. Set your hope fully on the grace to be given you when Jesus Christ is revealed. 16. As obedient children, do not conform to evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. Now, the, the verse I want you to set to focus on is verse 16. 
is as obedient children do not conform to evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. When you was a caterpillar living in sin and you was out there in the world and doing fleshly things. Now once you become that butterfly do not conform back to where you don't go back to where you came from. Them evil desires that you had before. That's when you were living in ignorance. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you on this evening. I I just I just feel so wrapped up and so caught up in the fact that the Lord is blessing not just me, but I will speak on my on my behalf because I want to be transparent. The Lord is blessing me daily as my daily walk. I'm not perfect in my daily walk. My I'm a prog I'm a work in progress. God is blessing me each and every day to continue to walk in his will and his way. Um my daily walk is I have to know what I'm saying. Be careful what I'm saying. Oh the Lord has shown me so many things. I, I, I've learned to lean on him more. He's just my leaning post. He's my guide. He's my comforter. He's my friend. And I just love him. I love him. Who wouldn't love a God that shows you things? Who wouldn't love a God that 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 perform miracles in your life? Because I've had miracles performed in my life. Who wouldn't love a God like that? Just be stay prayed up, saints. Stay prayed up and 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 stay in the presence of God. Because truly, you want your mind to be not just all out there willy-nilly, so to speak. You don't want your mind to be out there like that. You don't want your body to be out like that. Be careful, saints. Be careful. Stay prayed up. Get in the presence of God. Go into your prayer closet. Go into your car and uh, and do car chronicles. Go into the, to, to the, your bedside chapel go into your into your room and and pray and get in and get in God's presence because truly he wants to hear from you he knows what you want he knows what you're going through but he just waiting on you to ask to talk to him get in his presence get in his presence amen because God is an awesome God he will never leave you he will never forsake you. Always remember that. Always, always remember that. God is in the blessing business. And he is willing to bless you. Keep your mind focused and centered on him. Because truly, truly, the prize, set your mind on the prize. Don't get weary, don't get faint. Just, just set your mind on the prize. Keep on marching forward. And God will carry you through. He will not take you nowhere that he won't carry you through, that he will leave you. He done brought you this far, and he will never, never, ever leave you. And I trust him at all, when, even when I can't trace him. I trust God because he is a, he's a loving God. He can be trusted. He's there all the time. He's there all the time. And I just want to encourage you on this evening. And I want to leave you with this one verse. This one verse, it came, this one verse came out of Jeremiah the 31st chapter, the 33 verse, 33rd verse. And also the same verse came out of Hebrews 8 and 10. And also came out of Hebrews 10 and 16. It said, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After that, time declares the Lord. I will put the, my law in their minds and write it in their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. That's powerful. That is so powerful. The law he's going to put in our minds and he's going to write it in our hearts. You just like, when I said be mindful, of the things that you say and the things that you feed your mind. 
be careful with that because what goes on the inside of your mind and and it will go into your heart and out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh see you got to be careful you don't want to say the wrong thing be mindful be mindful saints and 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 always seek god when you can't trace him always seek him cuz renewing and transforming of the mind is a is a good thing the mind is a terrible thing to waste I just want to let you know. I want to say God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. May God be with you today and tomorrow and all the days to come. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this much needed word that went forth, Father God. Father God, just thank you for for giving me the strength to bring forth the word, Father God. Restore in me everything that has been poured out, Father God, in Jesus' name. Let no retaliation come against me and nobody else on this line in Jesus' name. Father God, bless the people of this station, Father God. Bless the overseers of the congregation, Father God. Bless not just the overseers, bless the listeners that's listening on this evening, Father God, in Jesus' name. Go with us and stand by us and keep us safe, Father God. Let our mind be refreshed and renewed and transformed. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. I would like to thank Pastor Nino Ackrich and the TMA radio broadcast system for allowing us to be here on this airways to bring a much needed word to the God's people. Amen. Amen. And I'd like to also thank my pastor once again, Pastor Brenda Dowdy Wilson, who allowed me to be this guest speaker on this evening. I I just dearly love that woman of God. She's a mighty one of woman of God, and I just dearly love her. I want to say thank you very much, Pastor Brenda. Also, I would like to thank our sponsors, um, which is to God be the glory, Jewels out of Newport News, Virginia, and I am the proprietor of this business. I'm asking each and every one to to if you want to contact. Me about some jewelry. It's paparazzi jewelry. Y'all have heard about this. But not. I am an independent consultant from paparazzi. And I the where the jewelry is 100% nickel and lead free. And I just want to let you know you're more than happy to contact me by telephone, which is, is 757-272-4885. At seven five seven two seven two four eight eight five, and you could either contact and, and use my website, which is paparazzi accessories dot com backslash two three nine two nine zero. That's paparazzi accessories dot com backslash two three nine two nine zero. Also, if you want to get in contact with New Restoration Conference Ministries, we'd be glad, more than glad to hear from you. We'll hear from you by e- via email. That is restoration, C-O-N-F-M-I-N dot love at yahoo.com. That's restoration, C-O-N-F-M-I-N dot love at yahoo.com. I would like to also invite you all to come back out on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday, every Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock. We'll be glad to have you for Restoring Souls to Christ Radio Show. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood, and we'll welcome you back again next Wednesday night, 8 o'clock. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Until next time. God bless you, people. God bless you. And good and good night. Amen. Amen. That was the guest host tonight, Minister Torian. Amen. We thank God for the message on this evening. We pray that it bless you in a mighty way. Join us, amen, next Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Restoring Souls to Christ Radio Show. The radio host is Pastor Brenda D. Wilson. 
Amen. Share this on your Facebook page, your Instagram, or Twitter. Amen. Listen, we got coming up at 9 o'clock, Men to Men Talk Back to Talk Up Show with your radio host, Pastor Nino, and co-host, Pastor Carl. Listen, last week we had, man, so many people viewing. We thank God because we're trying to reach that 1,000 viewers for the Men to Men Talk Up, the Talk Up Show. And we're going to do part two. The part two was, is it okay for female pastors to wear tight jeans in the pulpit? We're going to touch a little bit on that. But the new topic tonight is the difference between God's chosen servants and the false prophet. We're going to talk about that coming up in just a little bit. So again, we thank you. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Come on.